For lesson two, we're going to be talking about simplifying square roots. So for your vocab, you just have uh, the definition of perfect squares. It says that perfect squares are numbers whose only square roots are integer. And feel free to pause this so you can fill in the blanks. Um, but what we're going to be doing is breaking down these square roots and simplifying them so that the numbers don't seem so big, so that they're in simplest form. And when you're doing this, you want to be thinking about how we've done factor trees in the past. So for factor trees, just a quick review. If you have a number like 12, right? 12 can be broken into its factors, which are three and four. But it can be broken down further because four can be broken down to two and two. All right, so that's just an example of how we break down a factor tree. And we're gonna be using that skill to simplify these. So our first one is the square root of 108. The square root of 108 breaks down to nine times 12. And there's other ways, okay? Nine breaks down to three times three, and 12 breaks down to three times four. We can continue. Four breaks down to two times two. So now that we have all of our factors, and I'm gonna highlight them, we have one, two, three threes, and two twos. Those are all of our factors. Those are all of the pieces that are multiplied together to create the number 108. From here is where we need to start figuring out pairs, okay? Pairs of numbers. We have a pair of threes and we have a pair of twos, okay? We have a pair of threes and a pair of twos, but one three is left over, all right? So at this point, all of our leftovers are still underneath of our square root. But our pairs are allowed to come out. So three, when it, three times three when it was underneath, three times three would have been nine, and we know the square root of nine is three. So that's why it belongs on the outside. Two threes on the inside is one three on the outside. Additionally, two twos on the inside is one two on the outside. So what we have here is two times three times the square root of three, which you can simplify the two times three to make it six square root three. And that's your final answer for A. Okay, we're gonna do some more examples. So with B, B, we can break that down. B, when we break down 40, 40 can be four and 10. Four breaks down to two and two, 10 breaks down to two and five. At this point, my factors are two times two times two times five creates 40. You look for your pairs. I have a pair of twos. Left over is a two and a five. My leftovers stay underneath, two times five. My pairs, a pair of twos on the inside is one two on the outside, okay? So last time we had two pieces on the outside, this time we have two pieces on the inside. So we can simplify this further. It becomes two square root, two times five is, 10. So the square root of 40 simplifies to 2 root 10. Okay? Another one? 125. 125 breaks down to 25 and 5. 25 breaks down to 5 times 5. And that's all the further that we can go. My factors are five times five times five. We have one pair of fives. So our pair goes on the outside, our leftover on the inside. So the square root 
of 125 is 5 root 5. Okay? Rewatch this as you need to if something is confusing you. All right? Continuing on, for D, we have the square root of 27. 27 can be broken down to 9 times 3. 9 breaks down to 3 times 3. So our factors are 3 times 3 times 3. There's one pair and one left over. A pair of 3's makes one 3 on the outside, and a leftover 3 is a 3 on the inside. The square root of 27 is the same as 3 root 3. 8 is similar. Square root of 8, we have 2 times 4. 4 breaks down to 2 times 2. I have 2 times 2 times 2. There's a pair of 2's, makes a 2 on the outside, and a 2 left over makes a 2 on the inside. The square root of 8 equals 2 root 2. We move on to 300. Large numbers, lots of factors. 3 times 100. We can do 4 times 25. That's 2 and 2. And 5 and 5. So 300's factors are 3 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. We have a pair of fives, a pair of twos, and a three left over. A pair of twos make a two on the outside. A pair of fives make a five on the outside. A three left over is a three on the inside. Combine your pieces to simplify. Two times five is 10. Bring your root three down. So the square root of 300 is 10 root three, okay? For the bottom problems, you need to think about what has happened, okay? So, here, you notice that we have a 19 on the inside and a 19 on the inside, okay? Something was in here that got moved to the outside. When that something moved to the outside, it caused 2 to become 6. You can ask yourself, how does 2 become 6? 2 becomes 6 by multiplying by 3. So that means a 3 came out. 1 3 on the outside means 2 3's on the inside. So that means on the inside was 2 3's, which is equal to 9. So x equals 9. That was a little crazy. Let's see it again. Okay. An X on the inside made 3 become 9. How does 3 become 9? By multiplying by 3. And 1 3 on the outside is 2 3's on the inside. So 3 times 3 is 9. X is 9 again. That's crazy. I don't know if that's helpful. Let's do it one more time. Okay? Something made 2 become 20. What makes 2 become 20? Multiplying by 10. A 10 on the outside makes 2 10s on the inside, and 10 times 10 is 100. So x equals 100. Okay? Good luck, friends. Do your uh, check your understanding and continue to practice these. Practice helps, all right? It might be a little rocky at first, but be patient.